What's happening, guys? So, uh, give me give you a quick tutorial of how to download uh, the 162 uh, alpha version for the Minecave mod and install it. Uh, this one's for Mac specifically. I think someone's already made it for the PC, so good stuff there. Um, this will hopefully help you uh, understand how to quickly install it to uh, 162 using uh, Mac. So, I'm going to download this file. I've already downloaded it here a couple of times, so uh, I'm not going to bother doing that again, but get this file basically. Uh, throw that on your desktop there it is there for me uh, and then what we're gonna do is go into our minecraft folder so the way that I would normally do this is kick off minecraft um, you might already have a link to it or something like that but if I kick off minecraft you can see this is like a vanilla version of uh, 162 go into resource packs I'll do a bit slower go into resource packs uh, open resource pack folder click bang there we go if I go up one level so if you hold down the command button uh, and press up then you get the uh, you get the, the actual directory you're looking for which is application support minecraft and then versions folder is what you're really looking for so I can kill minecraft in the background here I don't need to have that open anymore gone uh, so now if I hold this over here 162 you can always see I've got a version in there already with the vanilla version we just used so if I right click that copy I'm then gonna paste that make a copy of it killer Kill this version that says copy, add the word mod or whatever you want. Importantly, you've got to get that exact uh, same letters on the inside stuff. So when I go in here, i got to change this one to say mod. i got to change the JSON file to say uh, mod.json. Uh, and inside the JSON file, I've also got to edit that, text edit, something like that. It's fine. And then this ID needs to match the jar file or the name of the jar file. So uh, dot, uh, uh, mod, so we'll make that exact same 162 mod dot jar. It needs to be exact, so make sure you get the dots and all that stuff. Uh, close that, just make sure that's uh, it's looking like exactly the same thing. I'll open that again, just check one more time. Uh, yep, that's saved, cool. So now I have two versions of uh, Minecraft inside here. But if I go back into the 162 mod version, I need to edit this jar file. So this is where we're going to copy all the stuff in. So if I open that up with WinZip, just pull that to the side so you can see it, organize here. I'm going to go down and find meta-inf. I'm going to delete that. You can do right click or I guess whatever you want to do, delete it. Uh, so that's gone. Bosh, fantastic. And then I need to open up this file that I've posted on the forum. So it says unzip everything. So if I open up that, if I can just expand that. So if I just expand that on the desk, if I just open it and expand it here. So I could get this folder. Here is the folder with everything in it. So literally all I should need to do is select everything here and then drag that into the zip file. Bang, done, killer. All right, sweet. So should be able to delete that, not delete it, but close it, close that, close that. All right, so now let's check this is updated. So let's try to resign, it's fine. Um, so this is now updated 251. So it's exactly the same time. Fantastic. So now when I launch Minecraft and go into the launcher, I want to create a new profile. I want to call this new profile 1.6.2 uh, Minecade version or whatever version. Uh, doesn't really matter. And then use the latest. You want to change that. So now I've got a new one. It says 162 mod. Fantastic. Click that. Click save. Uh, see what the I've got to change the version, so now let's go back up here. I've got to change the profile to this Minecade version that I just talked about. I'm going to have to sign in. Uh, we saw this uh, last time when we updated with the JAWS, so now if I just sign in, I can remember my password. Uh, I can't remember my password apparently. Uh, that's crap. And this. Type my name properly, that would help. Proper name and password for the win. Fantastic. Now when I go in there, uh, whoopee, got it. All right, so everything should be there. There's all the SCB servers. There's all the wall servers, all the VDF servers. Cool stuff. Minecade preferences, toggle sprint. I can set the class up that I want. Uh, say Ender Dragon, say Caveman, like Caveman already. And turn sprint on, click done, and that should be it. If I go into the lobby, yeah, we're in. 
Sweet. All right. Otherwise, uh, hopefully that helps. Have fun and uh, let me know any questions. See ya.